You might be wondering what VCE chemistry is all about. So I'm going to quickly fly through some of the concepts that we cover in this subject. The first unit talks about the way materials are bonded together and how that type of bonding causes them to have characteristic properties like their melting points, their electrical conductivity, flexible structures and so on. We also look at molecules, how they are connected and why they are shaped as they are. And we look at the impact of the shape on the charge distribution. It's very important. We refresh our knowledge of organic chemistry and we look at how organic chemicals react. For example, this reaction here which converts an alkane into a chloroalkane. We also look at new organic functional groups you haven't met before. We learn to count atoms by measuring, so calculations are part of BCE chemistry. In this sort of calculation here, we are able to work out how many molecules there are in a given mass of substance. Unit 2 focuses on how substances interact with and in water. So we look deeply at various types of reactions, like acid-base reactions and precipitation reactions and oxidation and reduction reactions. As you can see, it is essential that you know how to write chemical formulae and write balanced equations in this unit. We then learn about and we carry out several different procedures to measure how much material is dissolved in water. And these tasks require us to have reasonable mathematical skills as we work out how much of this reacts with how much of that in order to find things like concentration, masses and volumes. Any of the maths units would be suitable here. We're also needing to extract information from diagrams, tables and from graphs. How will I be assessed? Through SACs based on practical work or tests and an exam. Unit 1 also has an individual research topic where you choose a question of interest from a long list of questions. Unit 2 has an experimental research investigation, carries over a few lessons and culminates in producing a poster presentation of your findings. Let's go through some of the other frequently asked questions. Prac work. Will there be as much prac work as I'm used to? Well, it may not be as frequent in VCE classes as in, say, the earlier levels, but practical work makes up an important component of both learning and assessment. And so it will be done on a reasonably regular basis. Career options. This subject, you must seriously consider this if you intend to move on into the health areas. Please check, get your career advice regarding what you need to have for those particular areas. Be mindful, however, that if you don't like this subject, or if you really are struggling with it, it just may not be the subject for you. So don't do it just in order to keep your options open. Because if you had difficulty with it in, say, Year 10 Chemistry or maybe 10 Environmental Science, then I don't recommend that you do it. You're going, it's going to be difficult for you. Do consider it. Do be careful about whether or not you need to have this subject. But the best reason to do it is because you really like it. The other question that often comes up is, what if I did 10 environmental science? What's the situation there? 10 chem versus 10 environmental science. Many students come from 10 enviro and do this subject very successfully, but you need the self-discipline to do some bridging work over the summer break to cover the organic chemistry component of the course that's not taught in enviro. So we give you the bridging material and we rely on you doing that. Why? Organic chemistry is the main part of Unit 4 and that's why we introduce it in Year 10 and we continue to build on it in Unit 1. 
Hopefully this has been able to answer your questions, but if you have any further questions, please get in touch with me, I'm Dr Liston, or with any of the other chemistry teachers you can see here, Miss McLaughlin, Miss Cummings, or Mrs Clapperton. And uh, thank you so much for watching.